What's up, the squad? Back with another video. I'm reckless. Y'all see the title was going down. You know, I had to check this out. Make sure I go check out Doug ass out in the description box down below. Let's get a video. Buried deep in the criminal underground of Fulton County, Georgia, lives Fannie Willis, who once again has new charges against her. I'm I'm mm -hmm. kind of losing track of these things. It's got to be like number 11 front, but this is a brand new one from a completely different source, all because Bonnie Willis will not do her job. Let's meet the candidates. Christian Y. Smith is an author and attorney. Bonnie Willis has served as Fulton County District Attorney since 2021. Ms. Willis declined to participate in the debate and is represented by an empty podium. This time she's in trouble for not being a prosecutor and not doing what she vowed to do during her election, which was to go through all of these cases that haven't been processed of people who are serving time and they need to get their all their bail bond and all their stuff figured out. Remember, she was caught manipulating Harrison Floyd's documents without telling him and tried sneaking them past him. So let, let's uh, let's find out what kind of trouble she's in this time. Oh, and welcome to Doug in Exile. This is where the happy patriots are. Part of why we're happy is because Bonnie Willis, she can't fight who she is. It just keeps coming out, coming out. Georgia lawmaker says that she will announce a lawsuit this week against Fulton County District Attorney Bonnie Willis. Brand new lawsuit. What is this, number five, I think, from a brand new source, yeah. someone who actually just wants her to do her job. And in case... All that, all that talk and negativity and, and throwing the papers in court and talking crazy and this, that, and the other. All that stuff, that creeps back on you. That creeps back on you. Y'all see it. Fonnie Willis is going to play coming. the race card uh, or the, the anti-woman card. Uh, that option's not available this time. Georgia Representative Misha Maynor plans to hold a news conference tomorrow to announce this filing. Maynor's expected to talk about the oversight of prosecutors in Georgia, along with statistics concerning Fulton County Jail inmates currently awaiting prosecution. She has the biggest backlog in America right now, and she will not do her job. I wonder why. I wonder what she's been doing with her time. I'm going to make him an offer he can't refuse. Mm -hmm. I mean, besides taking extravagant trips with Nathan Wade, which is so far the biggest part of her resume, go, uh, taking uh, flights around the world, going to the Caribbean, going to Napa wine country, and of course, prosecuting Trump. The one guy who isn't guilty, she won't touch uh, the other guy's cases that are on her docket. So she goes after the wrong guy. She's obsessed, and it's obvious that she's part of this Weird cabal, secretly funded, probably by George Soros. And of course, she's been sicked on Trump by the Biden administration. After being denied a bond beyond the 90-day threshold. So this is about the ones that have, uh, there's a 90-day threshold that they have to deal with their bond. She hasn't been dealing with it, so she's part of the drag because she won't do her job. That's just mm -hmm. evidence. That's not a matter of opinion. That's a fact. Maynard claims D.A. Willis is failing to prosecute. So she's failing to prosecute people doing time to a point that they're not getting representation by their courts. So what exactly is her job? Miss Willis declined to participate in the... So what? They need to get Courtney in there. I mean, that's that's just that's that... We we going we going nip it in the bud right there. We need to get Courtney debate and is represented by an empty podium. What is she supposed to do? I mean, I feel bad for the anyone involved in the Justice Department because she's gumming it up. She's doing exactly the opposite thing she's supposed to be doing. But she knows that she gets a lot of credit from culture and from her Democrat friends that are rewarding her and saying, "Good job, good job. Go easy on crime and go get Trump." But what do you guys think? Will these charges stick? Let's get her impeached, maybe. Or maybe she'll do some time herself. I'm Doug. I honestly think that, you know, I feel like it, 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 it should stick just based off of the history that's been happening with her. We obviously don't know um, between New York, you know, you got phone count on how messed up things are. But I think this is, I mean, come on. We, it's, it's a new thing. Every time with, with Fanny Willis is is not leaving her, and it's like I said, I, I I honestly think you know we we think her name is Courtney Kramer. I think you know it. 
stuff something gotta change you know i'm i'm, I'm tired of hearing uh fanny willis's name honestly if, if you want me to get you know technical with it because and i probably should be saying it on here but it's it's just you know it's it's, it's aggravating you know the stuff that she didn't got away with you know and how things so i i will want it to stick you know um let me know um y'all thoughts and comments down below definitely appreciate y'all much love everybody catch y'all next one